week's single vehicle fatal crash in downtown Wheeling have been identified. Thanks for joining us tonight for 7 News at 5. I'm Katherine Guyon. And I'm Taylor Long. 65-year-old Bruce Baldy was the driver and 66-year-old Diana Baldy was the passenger. They were both from Martins Ferry. Police say they were called to the intersection of 16th and Main Street last Thursday around 620 after getting a report that a vehicle crashed into a utility pole on the Main Street Bridge. The exact cause of the crash is unknown as the incident remains under investigation by police. A video shown on the first day of school at Wheeling Park High School has created a furor. The safety training video about active shooter situations apparently included scenes so disturbing that it prompted parents to complain that it was over the top with violence and it upset their kids. Today, the principal met the controversy head on and DK Wright has our coverage now from Wheeling Park. Principal Meredith Daler says active shooter training is mandated by the state. But this particular video on the first day of school was perhaps overwhelming. There's a very short clip from a documentary. It is a reenactment of Columbine using the live 911 footage. Um, and a couple families did reach out after the fact, um, sharing that it really upset their children. It created some additional anxiety. So will they ever show that video again? No. As we move forward, that clip certainly will be removed. The days of an occasional fire drill are over. Now schools must present various subjects that could be upsetting. Outside of the active shooter training, we are required by the state to provide suicide awareness training. We also have to do four body safety lessons a year. And most recently, they've added a training on eating disorders and self-harm. So the school will now alert parents when these topics are coming up giving them the ability to opt out their child from a particular program. Doing like private one-on-one -on -one with a counselor uh, may be more suitable for some of our students that are already high anxiety in those areas. At Wheeling Park High School, DK Wright for 7 News, working for you. Principal Daler came forward immediately, posting on social media and going live on WKKX Radio, which is our media partner, explaining what happened and saying that video will never be used again.